Hey guys, and welcome to the Chroma side of YouTube. Today, I'm going to work on uh, an experiment. What I have here, and I have everything already set up, is two tiles. Last uh, week before last, I did a first impressions of golden fluid acrylics. And I use quidacridone, nickel, azo gold, and teal. So I noticed that it was kind of the same consistency of the Vallejo fluid acrylics. So I want to see if my mix that I used for the golden fluid acrylic tiles is going to be the same or going to work for my Vallejo. So what I have done is I've done four parts Elmer's all part all glue all blah blah blah, blah. Elmer's glue all <laughs> and then I've done two parts golden uh, GAC 800 and one part of the paint for both of these brands. Now, I tried to match the color as possible as close as possible. So, for the Vallejo, I have um uh teal and I also have burnt sienna. All right. And then for the golden acrylics, I have again the teal and the quinacridone nickel and the gold. Now, the difference between these two paints is the brown is very transparent and the teal is not. But for Vallejo, the teal is really opaque and the burnt sienna is semi transparent. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out. I did add a little bit of water to consistency. So let's see what happens. Now, I, on the other one, I used um, silicone in both colors, and so I will do that again. And I am going to do a swipe again. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one drop of um, cosmetic grade pure dimethicone in each of the colors. All right, and I'm going to do that all, all of it again. Now, I, when I did those tiles before, I noticed that I really liked the teal on the bottom and the brown on the top. So I'm going to do that combo again on both of these tiles. Um, I have an idea for a Christmas gift that I'm working on, and I can't wait to show you my... Um, my boyfriend's mother uh, gave me this right here, and this iron thing here hangs in the kitchen, and I'm going to clean it up, and I'm going to place a tile in it so that she can use that, and it'll be her Christmas gift. So that is going to be awesome. Okay, let me get my torch ready. I actually have two. I have the old one that I use normally, and I have a newer one that I've been breaking in a little bit because this one is getting all painty and gunked up, and there's only so many times you can clean these guys, these things up. So I'm going to do the Vallejo first, and then I'm going to work on the golden. So I'm going to move these things out of the way. I'm going to pull these over here to the middle, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to flood my tile, use a stick for smoothing it all out. I do like the coverage for this Vallejo. Um, Make sure it's all covered. And I'm gonna go along the edges as well because I just want the edges covered. Thank you. 
I really like the idea of painting on tiles. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I just find that it's very pretty. And you can use them for different things. Like, uh, like I'm going to use one of the tiles that I painted the other day for my boyfriend's mother's Christmas gift. So there is that. Now, the one thing that I did not do the last time, and I want to do this time, is I want to torch the base color because I noticed that a little bit of a pinhole um, effect happened when it dried on the last one. And I noticed it was the, the blue that pinholed. So I am going to torch this and make sure that there are no air bubbles. All right, now, here goes nothing, guys. So I have my brown on there. I have my large swipe tool, and let's see. I like to stand while I'm swiping because I find that it gives me a better swipe. Um... I'm going to go through again and I'm going to swipe again. And now I'm going to go through and kind of swipe some of this up with a smaller swipe tool. And back down. And now I'm going to torch it and see how this works out. Okay, so this turned out really, really pretty. Um, I like it a lot. Um, it's not exactly like the golden, but I really like it. So I'm going to move this guy out of the way, and I'm not going to touch any of the cells. I'm not going to move it around or anything. I'm gonna pull this guy back in, and now I'm going to go in with the golden, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay, <clears throat> use my stick and I'm going to cover. I feel like the golden is less thick and it's more fluid. So that's something to uh, keep, keep in mind. So I'm just moving this paint around making sure that my tile is covered. I will be torching this um, before I uh, before I pour my brown on. Making sure that my sides are covered. If you're just learning out, just learning out, just starting out to pour, I highly recommend going to Home Depot and picking up some tiles. It's a lot cheaper than buying canvas, and it um, it it's really fun to play with. 
Um, also, you can use the tiles for tons and tons of different uh, projects. So, um, there's something in my paint here. I don't know if you guys can see right there. I see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scoop it out with one of my palette knives. Set that aside. Alright, paint is now nice and free of anything in there. Make sure you're nice and... There we go. No air bubbles. I have my handy dandy paint rag. I'm going to wipe my palette knife on because I don't want to contaminate the different paints. Nice and clean. And I'm going to do the same thing for my smaller one. Nice and clean. Okay. Now, let's go in with this Quinacridone gold brown color. And I'm going to put this over here. And now I'm just going to swipe it. And I'm going to swipe down here. And now I'm going to torch it. And honestly, I want to say that the Golden Fluid Acrylics selled a lot faster. Um, I'm getting bigger cells, more defined. Um, and I, ha I think it has a lot to do with the transparency of this paint. Uh, because it is very transparent. I really do like this, um, the Golden Fluid Acrylics. Now... Does that mean that I won't be using the Vallejos? Absolutely not. Um, I will definitely be using the Vallejos. Uh, it's just that it, you get different results with the different types of paint. And that's what a lot of people are talking about. You get different results with different types of paint. So um, let me put these right next to each other. This is the golden side. This is the Vallejo side. All right. And now, I'm going to make sure that my gloves are not... Alright, there we go. Let me take you guys down, and uh, I'll show you guys up close. Okay, so, this here is the Vallejo side. And I'm going to get you down here, and I'm going to show you... So, I got pretty good uh, cell action really pretty uh i like the the dark brown against the light blue um but there's just something to be said about the golden so they work these paints work about the same they just don't uh they just don't, the difference is these cells are more round. These cells are more organic. Um, this is a little more orange than this. But ultimately, I think I have two beautiful pieces. So they work the same. They're about the same consistency. This one's a bit thicker than this one. But overall, I can't say that I'm unhappy with this. I like them both. I like the mix. And uh, I will be doing these uh, again. So I'm going to move these out of the way and uh, let them dry. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little experiment. Uh, Vallejo versus Golden. Fluid Golden Acrylics. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, I hope you're inspired. If you like what I do, please give me a like. Hit the subscribe and tap the bell for more videos when I put them up. Have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye. Hey, 
Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you will get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.